Learning a skill in this 21st century will go a long way in boosting the financial status of youth if taken seriously. To give youth an enabling platform to excel in their field, the APC National Youth Leader, in partnership with One Million Landlord Real Estate Academy, organized a skill acquisition program for youth in Lagos State an initiative geared towards encouraging self-dependence. The event, held at Jibo Yaba adding attendance, captains of industries, APC members, realtors, as well as the graduating students. While addressing the graduates, the APC national youth leader, Dayo Israel, commended the CEO of One Million Landlord for a job well done adding that the whole essence of the program is to create more jobs for the youth. He advised the graduates to create a niche for themselves in the real estate sector. By operating in this industry, we want to also be able to open up for more young people to become their own landlords. And that's why I'm excited about the partnership to be able to train our young people about opportunities, not just in the tech industry, but in the real estate industry. And so I'm particularly excited at this pilot initiative that One Million Landlord Academy and the Office of the National Leader has come together to do. What I want to see moving forward is how we will scale this across the country to ensure that we can begin to train more young people on how to leverage the opportunities in the real estate industry. From Kaduna to Gombe, from Zafara to Michika, from Taraba to Benue, from Anambra to Akwaibo. We can create more jobs for young people by leveraging the real estate industry like we're also doing for the tech industry. At this stage, go to work as in, go to meet me, go na 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 no. Try and establish relationship first. Once you have a good relationship, then the money will come. The guy will trust you. So they're saying that if he goes to the internet and search for houses, he will not call the agent. He will just send the photo of the houses to my WhatsApp. If I know you are trust to you, close this transaction for me. I said, okay, but I'm not that listed it online. He said, how to close it? Ah, don't worry, it's my job. You know, so for someone that can do that kind of thing, it means you have gone just beyond business relationship. You understand? So my advice is, this trade is very important, and um, real estate is one kind um, of a business that you might not have up to one thousand in your account, and I'm talking to you right now. But in another twenty four hours, you could be a billionaire. Because if you are serious, I am sure that every day you must be having inspection exercise. I don't know where to go. Okay, oh, that, that property we inspected last week. We are ready. We want to close it. Where are you? Participants were trained in digital marketing, legal documentation, and sales. Graduates were presented with certificates having completed the course. Speaking with newsmen, the CEO, One Million Real Estate Academy, Ibrahim Adetuga, speaks on the training program while calling on other youth in Nigeria to embrace the initiative by registering for the next session at no cost. What we are doing now is um, we are in partnership with the uh, Office of the National Youth Leader, APC, Honorable Dao Israel. We are empowering more than 1,000 youth to become professional real estate entrepreneurs. You understand? Our targets are graduate, first graduate that are on the street, that are looking for a means of survival, or people that have passion for the real estate business. We are here to train them and make them earn a sustainable living for themselves. It's all about creating sustainable livelihood for our people, creating jobs, employment for young people, and helping young people be able to tap into industries that we've not leveraged on in a long time. And also in the long run to be able to solve housing problems for Nigerians. 
Uh, but my, my drive really is how do we create more jobs for young people? The government cannot employ everybody, so we need to create opportunities for people to be able to earn legitimate living in, you know, in the society uh, by entrepreneurship, in particular in the real estate industry. The 2023 March graduating class expressed confidence that the skills learned is enough to uplift their financial status. Everybody should see that real estate is the future of finance, the future of money, and if you can attest to a lot of billionaires in this present century, a lot of them are making money from real estate. So my brothers, I need to let you and orientate everybody that real estate is not an aspect to be ignored. Share understand, because real estate has made a lot of people massive billionaires. So that is the reason why this particular course is very important because we continue to learn the debt. One thing we should understand about uh, Nigeria especially is that there's lack of jobs and you cannot actually continue to wait for the government to produce or to create um, job offices for you to just come and you know start working. Now the government have seen it that it's not really easy for them to do all that and then they decided to create opportunities whereby they will give you the power to actually make wealth for yourself, you know, to actually make any, something for yourself, be your own boss, you understand? So they, they, they make you, they give you a kind of strength that, okay, go and do this. If you can actually gain this, then definitely you are fine, you understand? So the government will really owe you nothing too much after they have actually done this. So this means too much to me. I think the government should focus on real estate. There is a lot of untapped market to be tapped in real estate. The government needs to get the youths involved. Thank God for the initiative of Honorable Buddha or Israel. I think more, more people need to, need to emulate what he has done, what he has set as a pace. We sincerely appreciate the effort because we actually saw it online and we put in for it and it's worth it. It's worth the training. We're being taught a lot on how to be a waiter, the fundamental of um, real estate, the legal, um, the legal um, aspect of it and the digital marketing of it. How you can be online from a comfort zone and help your own customers in which people come to your platform by creating your own page and creating a niche for yourself and um, such ending in which people can also gets you quickly on, on the digital space in which we're being taught such ending, the first um, and such ending. And coming to the legal aspect, we're being taught a lot how uh, you can know basic things about um, um, the law aspect of being a waiter. Graduates advise youth not to give up on their dreams. There is a prop that says Rome is not built in a day. You cannot just wake up and start plugging money from the tree. So I need to tell them that they need to be patient. There's a prop that says a patient dog does what? Eat the fattest bone. Everybody's going to make it. it just, it's all about time. If you are not lazy, you are focused and you are well determined. Contact people. Make new innovations. Contact your friends that you know they are, they are being successful. They, you can be very lucky. They might lure you into things that would change your stories and everything about you will be, will be, will be cool. Remember, suicide is a sin. So it is not over, my brother. That's all I have to tell you. The take home from this event is that Nigerian youths are now making conscious efforts 